Budokai Tenkaichi 3 is the Dragon Ball video game with more variety of characters to date. Into them, some characters are incredible, but others just don't give the performance we'd expect. That's why, stay tuned, cause this is the 10 worst characters of Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3. I want to remember you that this is a top completely based on my personal opinion. I am not telling you that I have the absolute reason about this. I'm another player just like you. So tell me in the comments down below which could be your personal ranking and we can debate about it. It's important to highlight that the characters are not divided of best to worst, just are the 10 that I consider the worst ones without order. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Twitch. Without further ado, let's start with the top. Number 10. Octavius. He is a character with some major failures and that's why it's at the top of this list. First, to select this character it doesn't feel comfortable in any moment. His hits are slow and they have openings between each punch that gives the possibility to counter attack easily. He can't fly, he is an android so he can charge key at will, but the difference between other androids is that they have the advantage to always keep the pressure because they don't have to worry about charging key. For Octavius, is a little bit more difficult to be aggressive because the information previously mentioned about his combos. In addition to that, he doesn't have long-range attacks and his slowness causes it to be very predictable. Number 9. General Blue If you think that this top will be filled with original Dragon Ball characters, don't rush yourselves. It's possible that you find some other surprises over there. I will be clear with this character. He doesn't deal a lot of damage in any of his standard punches. His ultimate doesn't have a long range and he can't fly. It's not a secret that the characters without capacity to fly have a little unfair disadvantage that finds itself more exposed in stages where there's not that much of solid ground. Floating in the air and gradually falling can cause combo interruptions, being inaccurate on attacks and worse like losing your turn. For this reason, I leave blue here. Number 8. Guldo. His appearance is not that tough, and you know what? You're right. Like all characters in this top, his damage could be better, he has projectile discharge attacks and sometimes could be useful because they don't consume much ki, gain time and range. But Guldos are not even full screen. His ultimate has very little range and is strange cause it's a copy paste of the general blues technique and he has more range. Guldo doesn't have many combos that could be chained with any other character because the animation when you go from square to triangle is very slow and pulls away your opponent in a very inconvenient way. Number 7. Spopovich his name is not the only funny thing about him. Despite looking like a very capable human fighter, he is not up on the heels of 80% of the other characters in this game. This character misses a lot of hits, it's like he was wrongly programmed. Look at this, the cancellations of the strikes do not connect in the great majority of occasions, just because he is like that. So we don't have the possibility to play hand to hand, he just can't throw a key blast, no matter if you spam the button, only one will come out. Out, and his standard rush attack doesn't have any tracking. Spopovich is like this character that you just select one time when you unlock him. Number 6. Apple. He is a soldier of Frieza. This character is completely unnecessary. He doesn't deal a lot of damage and his attacks are not full screen and consume a lot of key. That is not good from any point of view. I can't say much about this character, simply I don't recommend it. Number 5. Super Trunks or, like some people call him, the trunks with blow-up muscles. Some of you might be surprised to see a Saiyan on the stop, and I understand, they are the type of characters they spend the most amount of effort programming them, but it seems that Trunks is getting too much attention with his bulkiness in the original story. It's supposed that he is so powerful that his body turns robust and with less flexibility, which means, exactly, you guessed it, his combos are so slow. Some punch animations take too long to execute them and the waste of key that it requires to do a special attack is too high. The majority of his key blasts don't even hit the target. The ultimate that he has is not the best. It's too easy to dodge. Well, at least he has a special ability to charge key to the maximum and the character becomes a bit more reliable, but in my opinion, could be the worst Saiyan version of this game. Number 4. 
Chi Chi, a new character from the original Dragon Ball series, like some that I mentioned before. Milk is capable of throwing just one Ki Blast at a time, but when it charges, it has a good tracking, but at the same time it's too slow. She has very improbable combos, a lot of her special attacks have less range and she can fly, as we expected. If you're going to select a character from the original Dragon Ball, Chi Chi is not the best option. Number 3. Pilaf Machine One of the most pitiful things about this character is not even his physical aspect, it's the ultimate that he possesses, as he's one of the worst ones. He has the same negative point that we mentioned with Octavius. His attacks have openings in the middle of some animations that the opponent can counterattack quickly. The damage is very low, the special attacks have no tracking, and the transformation that he has into a bigger machine could be helpful, but I'm not counting with it since we are judging just one version of a character. It wouldn't be fair with other characters like the base version of Trunks. Number 2. Nam. He is the noble villager that fights for his village. I'm gonna be honest, if I had to program the moveset for this character, I wouldn't think of something spectacular. In the original Dragon Ball series doesn't show anything special, so I can understand why he doesn't have key blast, attacks with long range, or why he can't fly. The damage is very low compared with other characters and the life bar is improbable, having in mind that other characters have until 5 life bars. Nam is very difficult to take advantage of. Here we have some honorable mentions. Kui. Transford Master Roshi. Dodoria. Number 1. Frieza Soldier. This character is perfect for this top. It's the definition for filler. You just need to read the name and you know it. It doesn't really have a name. Exactly. Well, what I can tell you, he has almost all the bad things that we mentioned throughout the video. Very low damage, attack without long range, a low key blast, very reactable combos, the worst ultimate. It's probable that we can compare him with Pilaf in the last topic. Anyway, the Frieza Soldier is a character made for story mode and it is far below the others. If you agree or not with the stop, please let me know in the comments below. I will be pleased to read your arguments and your own list. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. You have the instant gaming link in the description and with it you can buy your favorite video games and give support for this channel. Anyway, that is all for this video. See you later in the next time. Take care and see ya.